but this one has a chance to be really good. That's a ginormous tee shot. Looking to keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of uh, things just working as they should. Looks like it's going to find the target. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Collects another birdie, but that stroke and goes to two under. What up, what up? On the seventh tee now, it is over 500 yards from the back tee. Yeah, this, uh, this is called humpback, and you can see why there's all those mounds and undulations between you and the hole, plus all that uh, amazing bunkering down the right side. All to be avoided, really. If you can do that, then you get a decent look at this green. But yeah, you've mentioned it, 500 plus yards. It's going to play longer than that uphill. This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and you just watch it stays in the air forever. Do the hang time on that. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Uphill 46 feet. Holy shit. Get it. Cody try up next. Get it. Well, this would be nice, Frank. I mean, you talk about jump starting around. If he were to make another birdie, we'd really have it going in the right direction. You can sort of feel it too. People around there know. I've seen the birdies to this point. And now they're rolling. Three under par. Now to the eighth and a long par five, Frank. Fortunately, there's no bunkers, just the dunes either side. The hole looks a little narrow off the tee, but get down there, you're going to realize that's a fairly generous fairway. There's a little bit of mounding in this green, um, too, that actually slopes it back towards the player. So that, use that to your advantage. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Split the fairway. Yeah, it's with PlayStation. That. Just a gorgeous swing. Slip that. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Oh, wait, what do we got? Three wood? Okay, that's all we get, eh? All right. Come on, Ro. Ro! No! 
bitch. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Frank, this has been impressive. Game plan, stuck to it, hitting some quality shots. He's really done his homework on the golf course, um, swinging well, and, uh, well, there's a few holes uh, to go, too. And this round could get even better. Damn it. And it makes the green in regulation. And getting ready for the putt. Holy shit. Oh my God, that thing Good got try. some hoops. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Oh, it shouldn't dang. be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Look at this shit right back over here. Nice par to remain three under. <sighs> Frank, the ninth hole called Olympus. And that is very grand sounding. Like something that. You're talking Ooh, great look at golf. The elevation here. Come on. Holy this this, this shit. golf course is for the mere mortals, Rich. This could be good. That would be a mm. great look at birdie. Damn. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Oh, Lord Jesus. God am I look at that. Get in there. Wow, rolling the ball beautifully. Bam. Birdie again. Yeah, that pace, that roll, it's always getting to the hole, and, and it, it's the perfect, what we call the perfect holding speed. It uses all four and a quarter inches of the cup. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Noise. Right where they were aiming. In the fairway. Noise, 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 noise. All right, Frank, what's the best way to approach the tenth? Well, this is probably the flattest green on the golf course, Rich, and, and really, um, if you miss this green, you've made a mistake. There's no two ways about it. It's probably the, the most predictable second shot you're going to have on the golf course. This is a good looking shot. Oh, foot. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Shot off the shot. Right at the flag. Just dialed in. Now a seven footer. Five birdies for the day. What a performance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now on to the 11th, and Frank, we are looking at a long par four in front of us. Totally different we are indeed, than finger shadows, golf. But there is love in the shadows here. <laughs> Hit it over that June down totally there. Totally different field. finger if golf. If you can get it there around the 300-plus yard mark, then the hole obviously oh, starts to get, get a little easier. Um, that second shot, you'd like to hit a little bit of a cut in here, but uh, there's two levels to this green, so make sure you're on the right level where that flag is. Yeah, man. I bought this, I bought this from the PlayStation Store. I paid uh, 19 dollars for it. I 
Oh, shit, 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 turn. We knew it right away. Picked up the tee, didn't even look at it. We can see it. It's perfect, right down the middle of the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this Uphill. game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That yeah, baby. Now it's done right there. What an approach shot. I haven't played him forever, so that's why I'm together. using Rory himself. I have a career going on here. I played for a while, but I decided to warm up with Rory before I broke out. That's a birdie for Matt My career Rory. account. He's just so explosive. Measuring 311 yards, the 12th Frank seems to offer an opportunity for a player to do something pretty dramatic here. Yeah, it's called the narrows. Really, it should be called the temptation because what player stands on a tee Ooh, knowing he can this. reach and doesn't take up the gauntlet? Mm. All right, let's see here. Oh, Lord, that thing rolled a mile. Holy shit. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Holy Good shit. Line. 48 feet. Might have a chance. So it's so it's two foot. So that needs to be at forty six. All right now. Nope. Damn, that thing is flying. Golly. That's a head scratcher. No other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. Oh my God. Ugh. Locked in on the read and the speed. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Under the 13th hole here at Chambers Bay, it's a par four, and they call this one Eagle Eye. Yeah, dog leg to the right, beefy par four. You hit it down to one of the widest fairways on the golf course. And then up in front, if you look at the middle of the green, you're going to see one bunker. Needless to say, that's got to be avoided. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, you've played golf courses all over the world. How would Just you describe the fine Lynx golf? Had tour. Well, I yeah. think you go back to St. Andrews, really. The, the true Lynx golf courses were built golf. on wasteland. That's why there were June areas. And um, even St. Andrews used to be an archery. They used to do archery there on Sundays and that when the golf course was, was closed. This? So it, it's land that Down wasn't used for anything else. Feet. Um, you're obviously playing in the elements. There's very little protection. Um, most Lynx courses, uh, you, you struggle to find any trees. Chambers Bay, no exception. This one's looking good. 
So a chance for Birdie. It's bad enough if another you hit a bad shot, shot, but you have the commentator. <laughs> right? So six. That was a good looking putt. What just the not fuck happened? Well, going to be should have been in the fucking hole. Not a gimme, but well within his range. <laughs> oh, painful <laughs> lip out. It was a good putt. <laughs> Absolutely can't believe it. I thought oh, that's that thing real was golf right there, the boy. <laughs> Just Shit. a little tap in here. Now at five under for the round. Frank, oh my God! I got a bogey. What the fuck? And they're not easy. This one here at 14, really a daunting tee shot. It is. That's why it's called Cape Fair. A, a true Cape hole in golf, Rich, is when you've got to decide how much you want to buy it off when you hit across a slight dogleg. And and this one, really, you're going to be rewarded the further left you can go. There is one little bunker in the middle of the fairway that you have to avoid. That's going to be you know, 320 or so yards off the tee. This whole 546 yards, you're going to see a variety of second shots or the length of second shots here determined purely by the bravery of the tee shot. Come on. Come on, bounce. Bounce, bounce hard. Yeah, baby, look at that shit. Woo! Slow down. Damn. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light Thanks, special. Bro. So three feet should be right about, what is it, four feet downhill? All right. Good swing, good shot yet again. Ah! Superb shot once ah! again, and only about 15 feet away for a birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Look at that slope. Holy shit. Get in there. Oh, my God. Came to the putt, excited <laughs> to make birdie. Now, settle for par. God yeah, damn. A change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle this down and make sure you don't Look at this. drop a shot. God, this what one the goes fuck? In. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Par for McElroy, but you're just waiting for that moment when he hits that accelerator and pulls away. At last, Frank, a break from those long par fours. We just played five par fours in a row. Now the par 315. And also, as you can see in the distance, you can actually see a tree. Um, 65 on the feet golf course. downhill. It's the name of 15. It's Jesus. called Lone Fir. Not overly long, just a little short hole. Um, but in What's a U.S. Open, obviously, they can play it at around 250 yards. Uh, it's just a fun par three. But check where that flag is, because uh, sometimes three is a good score here. But an easy flag position, and then go straight at it. This one oh. has a chance to be close. Oh, get it! Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Just a couple of feet. Six under par now. Down to the par four, 423 yards, 16 pole. What's the right play, Frank? Fairway first, once again, you'll see the slope of the fairway from the left to the right that side. That was a nice shot. Move your aim down that left side. It'll make this fairway yeah, that, was a nice that shot. much bigger. And of course, then when you hit into this green, you're really oh, yeah. going to have to flight that second way, right? shot yeah. properly. This is like a tabletop green. Oh, 
if this is up, it's good. Mm. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Let's see what McElroy does now with his second. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Ah, oh, shit, the putting the back on there. Beautiful approach shot there. Damn. A good chance to take advantage. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration good. or focus. God! Are you serious? That's short. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Clean this up with a tap. That's why you want to get close Good every time. Right Hell, you seen the the close Just putts. two holes left to play. <laughs> now a par three, the 17th, 218 yards, and all sorts of trouble, Frank, down that right. Well, if you weren't beached at 16th, at the 16th, and there's a chance you can be derailed, which is what this hole's called, at 17. Um, difficult par three. You can see the bunker there in front, and once again, wind conditions. This is going to probably require one of the best tee shots, especially in the closing stages of the U.S. Open. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Nice. A tester from four feet. What's up, Mark? Continues to oh, we'd like to miss that. yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now to the 18th hole, Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view, and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walking golf course, and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. No, it no, probably no, gives no, you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole on the golf course. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? No, keep going that bumper. Nice. Just where I'm burning it. That T ball, Frank. <sighs> Playing his second shot here at the par five. What is that? Is that 12 foot uphill? Holy shit. Frank, these days, golfers are training like high-level athletes from other sports. Rory McIlroy, for example, has been using a guy by the name of Steve McGregor, who happened to be the trainer for the New York Knicks of the NBA. And part of his training now is high altitude. Um, the majority of the medal holders, for example, in the Olympics, uh, or medal winners in the Olympics, actually use high-altitude training. You know, you can develop more red blood cells in a shorter period of time. But, oh, um, my you know, God, that green is so slow. different types of training. From the athlete side, but you go back to the old days of Henry yep, Carl, at Cotton beating an old tired. Them lines God, up on that. Or even the rhythm of Sam Snead. He used to count in the rhythm. It was one, two, three. It was one at the top of the swing, two at impact, and three at the follow through. All those things are still very valid today. Oh, I thought he God. made that. Oh man. Just pushed you. it. Boy, that hurts. Getting set now over the putt. 
No. No, can't zoom into it. Birdie from what you see me do so as close as I can look at it. Frank, solid effort today. What's your assessment? Um, golf like that can certainly uh, result in wins, that's for sure. But um, more importantly, the opportunity to get one. Give me just a second. I gotta get some. I gotta get my juice. I'm out of juice. My other juice uh... Let's get into my career. I'm kind of confused. I'm trying to think where my juice is. All right. I haven't lost a tournament since I started playing this. See, I ain't got to buy no balls, none of that. Just play. Just play this the game. This is EA Sports, PGA Way. Welcome to the home of the Wells Fargo Championship where the likes of Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, and long-hitting J.B. Holmes have all won. It was first open for play in 1961. It has really grown through the years, and it is now played by the best in the world. Rich Loader alongside Frank Novolo for EA Sports. Let's jump down to the golf course. And this is looking really good. 
That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving yep. him another you good look. You can do that. You got to earn a problem here. Oh my God. Oh, come it. on! Yeah, look good. I mean, line, pace. It's hard to be critical of that. Settles in over the putt. Fucking bullshit. Are you kidding me? That looked like it was on. Really? So just a formality here. Wow. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Great start. Let's take you down to the seventh hole. Frank has not gone their way through the early portion of the round. What can they do to turn it around? Now, are you? Well, you're right, Rich. It's been a rough start. Um, it's basically back to basics. Missing too many fairways and too many greens, so therefore less opportunities. Got to reverse that trend. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we're going to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Slow down. Yeah. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. He can make eagle right here. Makes the putt and goes to one on Let's go. Let's go. Make up for that bogey. Out of the short par 4 8 here at Quail Hollow, just 350 yards. Frank, players can lay it up and just hit a little baby wedge into the green, but why not go for it in one, try to make something happen? I think both uh, plans work well, Rich. Um, this is one of those holes, the more you think about it, the more complicated it gets. You're going to lay it up, lay it up. If you're going to go for it, just aim at that tree and hit it down there. Just take your medicine. Nice Damn. long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Second shot. Good look at the green. the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Here we are at the ninth hole at Quail Hollow, 495 yard par four. Frank, it is the longest par four on the golf course. Is it, in your estimation, the toughest? I think the green stops it from being the toughest, Rich, because it does kick in from either side. What but the hell's going on here? When you see holes like this, there's no surprise why the Rory McIlroy oh, and the Ricky Fowler's are one around here. This is just a great driving par four. We got a tree. No wonder.
He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, that six iron. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Oh my God! No! That is classy. <laughs> what chance of going in. Has this putt for birdie? They're very impressive and on the move right now. So, one round in the books and a lot to chew on here. There is. This is going to be a tough championship to pull away. The standard of golf, especially that All first page it. of the leaderboard. Excellent golf. So I'm starting in eighth position, already 300. That's what I like about the first, uh, like the first two rounds, you don't play the full 18, you play the full 18 on the last round. I love that. You can elect to play the full 18 now. EA Sports is proud to present today's PGA Tour coverage. And we welcome you to one of the most popular golf courses on the PGA Tour. It is Quail Hollow. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Frank, it is just starting to heat up out of Look, the golf they course. They move pins, y'all. Look, you see this? Anticipating Same old. They a just highly contested pin. event with the best golfers in the world. One reason the fans love this course so much, Rich, the Green Mile. It's fine to have a good golf course, but it's got to have a great finish. It's got a great finish, then it becomes a great golf course. Quail Hollow has that great finish of 16, 17, and 18. I think I'm going to curl into that wind a little bit. Yep, on the green, and a chance for birdie. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. And with that birdie, moving into the top five on the leaderboard. And we're starting to uh, notice the name. Well, Frank, an eagle is in play here at the par five seventh. And a six, and a seven, and an eight, or a nine, actually. This is a potential scorecard record, the seventh hole. Uh, many a tee shot has found uh, that creek on the right, trees, uh, problems on the left. There's no question there's a reward for a good tee shot here. Uh, but then there's a decision on do you go for this par five and two. It's not overly long, just over 530 yards. It is very tempting. Come on, roll. That was nuclear. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. I tell you, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. 
Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Damn, I want to be on the flag stick from that one. He was just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just trying to take care of business. Sure. Now listen, any time I left it short, I didn't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Shit, I needed that eagle. It's a nice birdie right there. Could not have come at a better time. Third place now. Frank, in modern professional golf, we're seeing more and more drivable par fours, like the eighth here at Quail Hollow. 350 okay. yards. Last it time. It's not a bad hole. Uh, drivable, some might say, but the angle of the green means it's hard for that tee shot to keep on the green. But the, I think the reward for hitting a driver is trying to sort of aim at that tree just left of the green. And the reason why is then you've got to pitch up the direction of the green. This is a Full really spin. narrow green. Come on, come on, get a good bounce. Get a good roll, come on. I mean, that is a sight to behold. What a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive. Holy in shit, one. that's a long way. Two foot uphill. 46. 47. We're going to let that drive. That was... What, was that don't even make no sense. Putt, but the read wasn't very good. Really? This is that awkward length. Is some good work right there. Birdie and one shot closer to the lead. Well, Frank, what do you think of the ninth hole here at Quail Hollow? Oh, I think it's a beauty, Rich. Um, one of those long, nice drawing tee shots. Uh, you know, 500 yards is a par four. You have to hit a good drive down there. The fairway doesn't camber that much. Hole does dog leg to the left. Um, big advantage for a big tee shot here. I'm loving that balance. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Oh, that was nice. That was a Frank, this is the way you draw it up. This is how the game's supposed to be played. Yeah, so far, everything going according to plan. Frank, break down this approach shot here at the long par 4 ninth. Well, it's a lengthy one. A nice, high, soft landing shot would work. But uh, don't be too concerned if you're a little left or right of target because the mounding on the green should help in your favor. Three, six. Well, you can hear it right off the center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. Get in the hole! Wow, come on! <laughs> God bless yeah, that was you. just some shot on that. Easy birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still, 
a long ways to go in this tournament. Shot a four under. See, here's the equipment. I mean, this is all name brand stuff. Could choose your shafts. Oh, your grips, balls. Which we're using. This this is the ball we're using. Attributes. I always go with the deep ball setup, though. This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Flip, how's it look on the on the stream? Does it look okay? Is the gameplay keeping up? Is it lagging or anything? What really sets Quail Hollow apart here at the Wells Fargo Championship, the brutal finishing stretch. They call it the Green Mile. And we are excited to bring you all of the tournament action. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. Look, it changed this fucking hole again. Frank, we remember what Rory McIlroy did here in 2010, his first PGA Tour victory, a 62 in the final round. It was also the first victory for Ricky Fowler. Yeah, and oddly enough, it was in a playoff, and in that playoff, Ricky just pulled out of the and win. smashed Holy it down, shit. and then hit a sand iron for that front left flag, uh, basically to gimme distance. Not only did he win in the playoff, but he beat Rory McIlroy, the then world number one in DA points. And that was the same Ricky Fowler that, remember, in the playoff in 2015 for the Players' Championship, drove the ball in equally daunting fashion um, over those uh, three playoff Oh, no, we could have got a lot of those. They'd be pretty happy with that one. About 20 feet away awesome. in a good spot. This for another birdie foot. on this hole on the week. Oh, my God. Missed. You could ask for much more than mm. that, except to make it. Getting set now over the putt.
Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. Frank, there's a lot to chew on here as you get to the tee at the 532-yard par 5-7th. In today's uh, game, 530 plus change you'd think is incredibly yeah, short. Yeah, And look at the trouble in front of you. Water all the way down the right side and around that right side of the green. Bunkers left. Um, this is not for the faint of heart. I think they're going to curl against that wind a little bit. Oh my God! Has no, it? No, 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 no! So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. It looks like uh, this swing he hasn't still got the floaties on. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Try this again, yeah. Oh, my God, this has to go in the hazard, it needs to get up, or it's going in. Wait okay. Swim there, Frank. <laughs> He's trying to stay dry now. He is uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. God damn it! This will take a good swing. Has to regroup, playing his fifth shot after hitting it in the water. It's not all lost. Once again, check the yardage, check the wind, start again. Where's my fucking club at? I don't even see my club, man. Let's take a four iron out of here. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in flight. Played this smart shot right there. No, not Except Xbox. The second no, shot I'm not an Xbox. Seventh hole. I'm a PS4. Get down. Lay down. Just We're going to take a bogey, a double bogey right here now. So close. Well, we might not win this one. Damn, it'd be my first loss if I lose. You can see the look of disgust. And it's justifiable. It's a double bogey. Out of the short par 4-8 here at Quail Hollow, just 350 yards. Frank, players can lay it up and just hit a little baby wedge into the green, but why not go for it in one, try to make something happen? I think both uh, plans work well, Rich. Um, this is one of those holes, the more you think about it, the more complicated it gets. You're going to lay it up, lay it up. If you're going to go for it, just aim at that tree and hit it down. Just take your medicine. That's it! Oh my goodness, that is on in one. Wow, what an incredible shot. Makes it sneaky distance. This is a really good way to finish out the front side here at Quail Hollow. 495 yard par four. Yeah, it's the longest par four at Quail Hollow. Um, some say it might be the toughest. I'm not quite in 
in that camp. And the reason why, that green slopes in from both sides, the left and the right. But uh, you can see why good drivers have done well here because it's a big reward for thumping a big, long, straight drive down here. Excellent looking shot here. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. Nice. Frank, Rory nice. McIlroy had his coming out Thanks, party guys. on the PGA Tour right here at Quail Hollow. That we was needed that shit after that double bogey. You remember that final round 62? I can't believe I went to water do, twice. That great finish uh, to post 62. Personally, I thought that was the best round shot in 2010. And not just because it was his first win, but it showed you what he was capable of. And then obviously we've got to see that ever since. should be pretty good right there on the safe side oh my god well that is an exceptional <laughs> shot on the green <laughs> and in position for a birdie yeah it's a formality now just a couple of feet bring it back bring it back got nine what holes to catch them now just a handful of players in contention Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports back at Quail Hollow getting set to kick off the backside. And the 10th is a good par five, Frank. It certainly is. Whole bend's a little to the left. Um, there's the bunkering down that left side that you've got to keep slightly right of. Second shot plays uh, ever so slightly downhill to a rather narrow green. And if anything, Ooh, you want to find the left side. Smoked it. Split the fairway with that. Just a gorgeous swing. Frank, this looks like a tempting opportunity here at the par 5 10. There's a little ridge in the middle of the green on that left side, and that'll kick the ball to the right. So you've either got to be short of it or past it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get on down, 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 down. Get down, get down. Frank, it hit the ground, Damn. but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Back here at the par 4 11 at Quail Hollow, set to tee off. What's the right game plan here, Frank? Oh, there's two really. That left bunker off the tee, it's about 265 yards to get it on the fairway, um, or 308 yards, 310 yards run out there. Uh, I've seen players just try and carry the bunker, sort of set up a short iron, and I've seen players like Rory McElroy just try and blast a driver with a hook on it. Um, both strategies have worked. There's something about a well-hit shot. Right where they were aiming in the fairway. 12 mile an hour headwind, shit. Where's my wind five Aaron ball at? The approach Damn. now at the par 411. What the hell?
Frank, how impressive has this round been considering the strong winds? Oh, it's remarkable, uh, Rich. You look at everybody else out there struggling. This has been uh, a round to savor. Thank you. Jesus. Three, six, nine. it when it does this yeah all right now I gotta go back and set some of it up again I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it airmail city yeah lick it Send it. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. <laughs> wow. Wow, that thing just kept rolling, too. Have seen. Folks, that one is now on the fringe. Get the fuck out, man. Gave one it's back a bad again. Bogey at a bad time in the tournament. You'd like to think it's just a slip on the controller. Good third round, Frank, and a good spot heading to the final 18. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field know that uh, your game is good enough to and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now. Consistency went up. EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. Thanks for joining us here today in Charlotte, North Carolina for the final round of the Wells Fargo Championship. Frank, what do we have out All here right, today? we got work to do. Well, if history uh, has a chance of repeating itself, remember those great closing rounds by Rory McIlroy, uh, that 62, that uh, was one of the best rounds ever shot that year. <laughs> back in 2010 and of course that playoff too Ricky Fowler back in 2012 we actually beat out then mm. world number one Rory uh, McIlroy with that stunning mm. drive down the finishing hole and brilliant wedge to a tight flag uh, this Give golf course you can give it they can take it away but for us from where we're sitting Rich we'll enjoy the view today no doubt about it
Frank, what's the right play here on the 10th? Favor the left side. Everything will slope towards the right. Just be careful that grass bunker, so the front right. Um, the ball will sort of come a long way down to the front edge of the green. This is going to be a tough day on the links. I mean, even the seagulls are walking to work. Yeah. I like the looks of this one. Just a uh, sensational oh shot. My God. That for any what? Day. Amazing. Just like that, pick up two on the field. What? So, we'll tap in. All right, so we have, have a great night, brother. <laughs> Damn. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Frank, that was on this close. Side at Quail Hollow, a player does have a good chance to get off to a good start with that par 5 10th and now a relatively short par 4 11th where a player with a good drive could stick a short iron in their hands. Yeah, this is uh, one you're going to have to make a decision. You can just play this as a straightforward dog leg left par 4 and hit a 3 wood or a long iron up there and you know, 9 iron or something like that into the green. Or, if you want it, you can try and blast a drive around the corner. Um, I don't know if that's the more prudent play, but uh, it's fun. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Sandwich. safely on deck. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Settles in over the putt. <laughs> Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. Frank, I think the mark of a good golf course design changing directions. We go from a right to left hole, now at the 12th to a left to right hole. Yeah, there's no two holes at Quail Hollow that look the same. Um, and this one's slightly downhill, uh, fairway tilts a little bit to the right, and, and it's a bit of a sleeper. And plus you add in on top of that 450 yards plus, um, this is a fairway that has to be hit. Beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Well, Frank, as we know, golf is not played generally on a flat surface, and here we go, uphill. Yeah, and the uphill lie is going to guarantee you more loft than normal. So you're going to have to counteract that with uh, maybe an extra club. Oh, slow down. Damn. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. I forgot that was a 58 degree right sandwich. That, was that thing was spinning already. Damn it. Didn't do uh. too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Get in there. Get in there. Good putt. Here we are at the par three, 13th hole. It's 210 yards. What does it take here, Frank? 
It's one actually um, where you'd rather be conservative than aggressive here. And the reason why is this green tends to roll off at the back and the front and the middle there. So uh, it's just something that pitches more in the central part of the green is really what's required. Well, we got six iron. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. That will be a great look at Birdie. Made par yesterday. This one for Birdie. Let's go. Hard putt, soft hands, beautiful putt. Well, Frank, as we arrive at the par 4 14th, just 345 yards, our players no doubt are looking for a little advice from a guy who's been par there. Par 4, eh? Hey? Done it at the highest level. What's the right play here? Rich, after all these years, I think it's like a modified tee shot. And what I'm going to say with that is like a strong three wood, something that pitches around 270 and kicks 30 or 40 yards, finishes up about 20 yards short of the green. I think that's the best ploy. You won't be able to get at all the flags, but I think you'll play the whole under par for the week. When's the right time to pull out the big the big driver and have a go oh, at the no. um, I don't think there is. But no, maybe no. shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Damn. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now teed up at the 15th hole. It is the final par five here at Quail Hollow, 577 yards. And Frank, I remember this hole well. McElroy stiffed the five iron on his way to making Eagle his first PGA Tour win. That came back in 2010. And um, the opportunity exists again here. Under 600 yards, plays downhill off the tee. Those two bunkers on the right are perfectly situated. That second one about 310 yards to it. So something Turn. straight at that one with a little draw will set up that mid iron or long Turn. iron that has to be hit very high and uphill. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway and well over 320 yards. Nice position, short grass, second shot. This becomes a different kind of battle out there today with these strong, gusty winds. Players will have to think. They'll have to take extra club. And this will not be easy. I don't think we're going to make that putt, but we're on the green. I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Look at that thing go. Oh, my God. 
That's a head scratch. Wow. No way to put it. That close to the green. Oh, wow. And misses I it know badly why. to the right. I don't, man. I, I know why I've been fucking those pups up now. I just thought about it. It's a foot. That's three feet. See, that's measured in yardage. Oh, without a doubt, that will be on the highlight reel later tonight. Excellent shot. <laughs> at last, we have arrived at the start of one of the most daunting finishing stretches in all of golf. They call it the Green Mile, 16, 17, and 18 here at Quail Hollow. The 16th is a par four, 508 yards, Frank. And this hole was made even more Thanks, difficult Mark. when they pushed that green further left to, uh, to bring the water more in play with the second shot. I mean, it's a great par four. It's strong in every single department. What the hell happened? We hit the Not tree. Quite what he wanted. T shot is in the bunker. We hit the fucking tree. So he's in the fairway bunker. Frank, what's the key here on this shot? Um, sometimes take a little bit more club, but it still gets down to contact. Any little bit of sand gets between the ball and the club face, you will lose 10, 15, 20 yards. Oh no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oh wow, my thought he made what? That. Well that would have been a that... bonus had it gone in, but oh, still get the fuck out of here. Chance for par here. Eat a dick. Yeah, there's no damage. And you're not gonna birdie every hole. And he makes it for par. Just two holes remaining here at Quail Hollow in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the signature par three, 221 yards, the 17th. And they have a multitude of tees here. One of the new back tees is actually where the old 16th green was. And uh, um, if you think don't go left is the way to play, then that won't work either because right's not that much good. Uh, this is it. Stand on the tee, and you better hit a good shot. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good looking birdie. Yeah. Jesus. This is an awkward length. Let's go. And drops it in. Six now stroke league over Bubble Watson. Quail Hollow. <laughs> Frank, what yeah. can we expect? If there was a name for this hole, Rich, it should be called now. Come on, man. Why have I got headwinds so much? Way down Good the left Lord. side and actually divides that, uh, that hole into really half the size of what a normal par four should be. That makes it hard. The bunker on the right is your bailout area. Um, to uh, just over 290 yards to get past that, and then the narrowest green that still sits up against the lake. This is just a brutal finish. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one.
Good Moving God, on. where's that going? Right Whoa, stop! Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. It has all come down to this, a chance to win the Wells Fargo Championship. Look at this Frankie shit. took Man. plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. In for par. Frank, year in, year out, the Wells Fargo Championship is one of the best on the PGA Tour. This year, it didn't disappoint. No, it didn't. For, we for won, a number though. of reasons, really. The quality of the field, Rich, but more importantly, from my point of view, the quality of the golf. Quail Hollow extracts the best out of a player. It right? demands it. And, uh, and we saw that today. For my partner, Frank Nabilo, and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long until next time. I know, right? I'm in the lead for the FedEx Cup standing, though. I'm in the lead for the FedEx Cup standing, though. That's my 34th PGA Tour title. Ninth this season. <laughs> yeah. That's my 34th PGA Tour title. Ninth this season. Uh-oh. The Players' Championship. TPC Sawgrass, baby. Yeah. Let's go. TPC Sawgrass, baby. Yeah. All right, brother. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the players. Frank, you don't want to get too cute with that second shot here at the sixth. I remember many a time, Rich, when they put the flag right of center. You try and hit a little bit too close, those palm trees all of a sudden come into play. Hits one of those, that ball can go anywhere. Oh, shit. Slow down. Whoa. Good strike. Good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. So a good birdie, and the score looks good too. Two under for the tournament. Been some outstanding shot making to this point. Let's see what's happening now as we resume the action at the seventh. 
Frank, I've really enjoyed watching our featured golfer to this point. Superb play through the early portion of the round. Now we get to this kind of middle section, Frank. What's the key to maintaining that momentum? Well, not just maintaining, Rich. An opportunity here to turn good into a mm. great one. Smashed it. That's an absolute beauty. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. We're sneaking into contention here. Is that birdie? Top 15 now on the leaderboard. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237-yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? Well, you come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. And this is straight at it. It's a really good line. <laughs> Damn, that was close. It's a big putt right here for Birdie. Things pointed to a good week. Thirty there, very important right now. Playing some good golf. Frank, I think this is one of the most fascinating holes on the golf course. The 583-yard par five ninth hole. With technology now, a lot more players can reach this par five than two. Gone are the days where it was a true three-shotter. But uh, I remember when Sergio Garcia hit that three-wood from what was it, 270, 280 yards. Still one of the best shots I've ever seen. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. That's Damn. a bit offline in the rough. You'll need to be strong with this. Wants to be, but not out of the hole here at the par five. No, hey, coming out of the rough, I didn't think it would come out of there like that. Here, Holy really shit, look at this. No way. He pulled it, Frank. Great Damn. Job. I ordered that eagle. Frank, the ninth is really a good par five, isn't it? There's so many options here. Um, just play it away, sort of three wood it down there, then go to the right and sort of wedge it on the green. But uh, it's very tempting, especially in the right wind conditions. And that's if they're coming over your shoulder for a right in it from right to left. Then this par five is very reachable.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the players. That should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Ooh, nice play right there. That's in pretty close. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Frank, historically in this great championship, 14 has proven to be a pivotal hole. Everybody focuses on the finish here, but you're absolutely right, Rich. This can be an absolute scorecard record because if you spin your drive left, the drop back, perhaps on the ladies' tees, you can make six in a heartbeat. You try and air to the right, you can make six from the mounds. So a good drive down, here, down 14 gives you a chance for that fast finish. That club must have melted after that one. Frank, halfway home on maybe the toughest par four in the golf course. Yeah, for some reason, for such a big green, it's always hard to get that second shot close. Midway through this back nine, could use nice. this thirty here at the fourteenth. Nice Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Well, that birdie has to feel even better, Rich, with everything so tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. Back to the TPC Sawgrass, the 15th hole. It's a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch. And Frank, what's in store for the players here? Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, Ideally, hit it tee shot down the right side, keeping it away from that bunker. But that's a flat bunker down the right with no lips, so it's still not too bad. Biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Now it's Ooh. right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. That is classy. Yeah, the chance of going in. Just a couple of feet. Really starting to shine. Moves to 10 under for the tournament. Frank, I think one of the things that fans love about this gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, each hole has that sort of hold your breath moment. Certainly 17, we know when that ball's in the air, you're holding your breath. Is it wet or dry? 16, same on that second shot. You're holding your breath wondering where is it? Right in the water or left with a chance for three? That's why you don't want to get too sloppy on that tee shot. A lot of people look at 16 because there's a wide fairway and they think just get it down there. For the extra 10 or 15 yards, there's a little ridge down that left side. If you catch that, the ball will kick a good 20 yards further forward. 20 yards is too close. I'd much rather go on the second <clears throat> with a four on than a two on. Mm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. I tell you, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage.
This one's looking good. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated off line. Come on! Oh, no, man. You just Jesus, I mean, that hurts. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, as a fan, it's so exciting because it's just so simple as well. Ball's in the air. You're wondering, where is it? Wet, dry, short, long, winner or loser. And it's no surprise that this hole was an accident. This one was designed by not Pete Dye, but his wife, Alice Dye. But we have seen so many accidents right here. Try. I should have played the other club, the longer club, and, and just spun it back. Damn. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. chance of going in that don't make eight foot putt here so has the par moving on to the next hole in the lead Frank is very much intact People always talk about 17 being visually intimidating. Frank, what about 18? If there's a little bit of wind off the right, the tee shot is so much easier. But if that wind is coming off the, the water, not only do you see the water and the wooden bulkheads, you see all the rough and the trees on the right. And of course, then you start bringing five, six, seven, even eight into play. That's what makes this tee shot so hard. Split the fairway with that. Just a gorgeous swing. Frank, you found dry land. That's the good news. But now you have this second shot, which is very daunting. Yeah, once again, you're looking at water on the left side. So the tendency is to miss it on the right. But that's a very, very difficult up and down. This is another second shot. You just got to brave it. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie putt coming up. The car on this hole yesterday. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start Smash to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. Mid putt went up. Nice. Position first, hole first, 12 under.
right stop. How about this second, a par five? Well, if you're brave, you try and flash it down that tree line down the left, but there's a couple of limbs that poke out. Every now and again, they catch an errant tee shot. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry green about is a long ways there, away, though. It's a 550 yard par, par five. five. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. You want to get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18 with a chance. 16 is the reachable par five. You can make eagle there. And then the final two holes, you just want to steer clear of trouble, though. With bold play, and you mentioned Man, it a a long hurt, putt, though. you could make birdies. It really is a case of mind over matter when you look at those holes. You're right. If you took away the water, you'd think they look three nice holes. Lord. But it wouldn't be the same. You intimidate the player as he as he plays 15. He's well aware of the finishing three holes. All right, that was closer. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Or yesterday. That's a bird. That drops for another birdie. Two in a row to start the round. So we started with a par four, then a par five, and now the 177 yard par three third hole. Plenty of hazards here, Frank. You, you really break this green up into three portions. Front left, front right, and that back just on top of the ridge. Eleven miles an hour, yeah. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. No problems early. Looks good. It does look good. Uh, this bode, bodes well. We might be uh, we might be in for a very very low round today. Oh yeah, nice. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, the second here at the fourth is a dangerous shot. Once again, this is another example of where you have to look at the green. Where exactly is the flag? If it's on that high portion, you've got to fly it all the way back. See, 126 yards or Frank, for players looking to improve their putting, what are some of the training methods they can use? I think speed is always a, is a good one when you get on the putting green and you just practice trying to putt inside that three foot circle because in the end all sports are the same. You're trying to focus in on the destination God where that ball has I to be delivered, again. whether it's tennis and inside the pool Forget or basketball about that inside the rim. Wedge. Putting's no, no so different. Much spin As you get on further and further away from the hole, then you just make an acceptable size circle that you're trying to putt within. So pace, 
very important. Oh my Kings God! Excited to make birdie now. Fuck. Settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. <sighs> really knuckle down there. That make sucks. sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in. Fifth hole, good par four, isn't it, Frank? If ever a hole was built for Lee Trevino, who used to love to cut it, this would be the hole. It just looks and screams for a shot that's hit left to right. And that's the only way, really, to avoid bunkers left and long and that one that's all the way down the right side. Pushing hard. Woo. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Frank getting set for the second shot here at the fifth. What's the best way to go at it? Rich, it's one of the hardest par fours on the golf course. There's nothing wrong with aiming right at the middle of the green here. You can certainly putt to where the flag is from there. Safely on deck. Oh my God! So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Really? This is an awkward length. Why? Plenty of time it's on this downhill. Day. He looked at it from three different angles. God, he forgot one fucking pissing very me off. important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well. But obviously, we see it more on putting. Did the job right there. That wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. Three under, fuck. That sucks. I'm going to finish this round up, and I'm going my ass to bed. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the players. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a formality now. Now this for birdie came away what? with par in the previous round. What the fuck was... This <laughs> needs to keep it steady here over the park. Wow. That's some play of fuckery right there. As he's par. 
got some real bullshit. Now the start of the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18. Part 5, 16. Frank, Tiger made birdie here all four days in winning in 2013. Fred Couples made that fantastic eagle many years ago. Hole bends a little to the player's left. You don't have to hit driver here if you're a long hitter, but you really must move that ball right to left. Hmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Now the second shot to the par five. a big green and they're going to use every inch of it that was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at eagle coming up it's that sneaky distance there you have it well done great Frank fans watching, they love excitement in the game. 16's an exciting hole, isn't it? Well, that's where you get it, because you hear the roars. You start to see the big crowds that go all the way Ooh, around 16, boy. 17, and 18. Boy, that's right you on the edge. You feel where you are in the tournament, too. A movement that starts at 16 can be carried all the way to the clubhouse. This is hitting in the wrong direction. Uh oh. Yes! 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 Get it! Now, one of the more difficult holes in golf. The 18th here at Sawgrass, 462 yard par four. In 2013, this hole averaged 0.39 strokes above par. What makes it so challenging, Frank? Just that big body of water of, uh, that to the left of... Fucking hole in one. Get also the fuck out of here. Right Hell nine. yeah. Not a single fairway bunker on this, uh, on this 18th hole. So really, lack of definition. Uh, you, it's so hard to find a target here. It's a ginormous tee shot. Frank, really challenging second shot here at the home hole, the 18th. You have to be decisive going in here. You can see all the trouble in front of you. Water left, that mounding on the right. Neither place really is good to go. So somehow you've got to muster up your best shot. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. To win the Players' Championship. Bada bada boom bada bing. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the box as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long. Damn, I might play one more so I can see if I can get 100.
Peach Invitational. Where is that going to be played at? Oh, wait. I think I got some new shit. Here you look. They get some new shit. What is that? Now, why would I want that? No, buddy. I'll stay with my Nike. Thank you. A hammerhead though, I'm waiting to see that. That's the final club. I want to get a level 100 so I can see it. Oh, wait, wait, what we got here? I do not want no Elite Series shit. Hey, that was putter? There's a new putter? What putter? Was it elite putter? I bet it's be elite. Hell yeah. people here who's here <laughs> what course they say was though NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for oh, the Atlanta. FedEx Cup. It's the opening round of the Peach Invitational. This is a great course. That is just a beautiful shot. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. This is a good looking shot. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. And getting ready for the putt. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top five. Here at the par three second hole, bunker left, 
bunker just short of the green. That water is not in play for most of these professionals. The green is 34 yards deep. The key here probably is to keep it below the hole. It can get tricky if you're above it. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly. That's an important birdie right there into the top five on this leaderboard. Well, there's so much at stake this week, Richard. Tour championship continuing here at Eastlake Golf Club. This is the third hole. It's a short par four, 390 yards. But this one requires the players to think it is a difficult green. Fairway wood off the tee. Damn, I didn't get all that. In, and then the work begins. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball's sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. On the green, looking at a birdie opportunity. Looks primed right now. Anything other than backing up. Very aggressive. That birdie, now in second. Back over now to the fourth. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, we have already seen some excellent play. Frank, what are some of the keys to keeping this early momentum? Basically just trying to do the same things. We're seeing good driving, good approach play, and uh, very good speed on the green right now. Keep doing the same thing. Well, par fours are not all the same, Rich, but after that tee shot, I guess you can say this one's going to be easy. That was a beauty right there. Damn, I can't see shit. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Oh, God damn it. Wow, look at that shit. Fucking A. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Long putt here. This will require a good touch. Which is a way up good stroke right there. Wow. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Shouldn't be a problem here. God wow, damn! That's disappointing chance to get too deep on one hole and you leave wow. it short. Well, the good thing is, Fucking bogey. You didn't miss it, Jesus! Right? If you can go past the miss, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll never know. Okay. Still has a chance for birdie too. Right. Okay. I like that positive attitude. What a thrilling afternoon of golf here at East Lake Golf Club wow. in Atlanta, Georgia.
For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Twitter alongside Frank Navalo saying so long until next time. Oh, yeah, we're going to get that 100. Now, if you can get that 100, I damn sure have to play a game with the fucking the hammerhead clubs. I have to. I have to try them out. I got to try them out. Come on, come on, come on. Sitting in fourth. Let's see if we can't fix that. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live Got second round coverage of here. the Peach Invitational. This one has a chance to be really good. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. East Lake Golf Club was named the permanent home of the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola back in 2005. It is the final event of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup with only the top 30 players on the points list qualifying each year. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance. That Get in there! Let's go! The right there. That's stealing. Bam! Now the fifth hole and a challenging par four here. It is 520 yards long, and Frank, it rewards precision off the tee. This is one of the narrowest fairways on the golf course, Rich. Not only that, your tee shot's blind, so you're not going to know where that ball finishes up. Fairway also tilts right to left, so you're going to have to hit that tee shot down the right side. Split the fairway with that. Just a gorgeous swing. Now getting set for the approach here at the fifth hole at East Lake. Frank, what's the right way to go? Well, if you've got a long club in hand, you can sort of bounce the ball and let the ball sort of turn to the left. Everything slopes from that back right corner to that middle left portion of the green. Yesterday, chance to better that today. And with that, birdie moves into a tie for the lead. We've got ourselves a battle right now, Rich. Frank, if you're an amateur, you get to this tee box, maybe you reach into the bag and grab that old scuffed up orange ball or pink ball maybe you found in the woods. You don't want to waste a good one here. Either that or get in the paddle boat and just uh, row across to the other side. Well, this lake is normally full, Rich, and full of golf balls, that's for sure. Even the best players in the world, they get the wind wrong and they start flirting with that right side. You pay the price very, very quickly. 
Um, it's not just a short par three either. This is a decent length for a shot that has to be flown all the way through the air. This one's looking good. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. And who knows? Should be. Theoretically, I think we'll be able to try the hammer in the Maybe final round. Young Should star be able to. Makes Should birdie. make a hundred after this. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Wow, Frank, look at that one. Run out. Just blistered that tee shot. Well, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Ooh, yeah! right Beautifully done. Bam! So all the scores have been posted for round number two. And look who it is. Mm, bro, we got two of those that round. Two very solid rounds of golf. So uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to oh, build. Oh, there it is. Let's go get, get them closer closer close. To the end of this tournament. Hell yeah, let's go get them clubs. Boy, look at all the levels go up. Holy shit. Everything went up. Damn, boy. Let's go get them hammerheads. Watch them have the worst stats. <laughs> Let's go see. Holy shit. Where did Taylor May come from? Oh no, look at that. Damn, there's no forgiveness in that bitch though. Oh well, we're gonna try it. I got to try it. Three wood, please. There is no forgiveness in these damn clubs, though. Mm.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute, my hybrid didn't change. Change all. Why can't I select all? Oh, that's it. There we go. Yep. Okay. Let's do. Let's check that. There we go. Okay. Wedges. Oh, damn it, I ain't turn. Cutter? Yeah. What shafts do we have now? I hate I gotta keep going back and forth. That shit sucks. Cause I like them bright clubs. I like it all to be bright. I'm glad that I got to try them this round so I don't do nothing. I'm really ready to go to bed. <laughs> NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour though. proudly presents the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third round coverage of the Peach Invitational. shot right in the fairway and plenty long well with a good shot here rich but, uh, this eagle on the cards hole very reachable from where he is don't get many opportunities like this this is a good place to take advantage could be good really in control of this hole birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way 
Frank, it's one thing to jumpstart your oh. round. This would ignite the round. Yeah, you don't normally see two par fives back to back, so the chances of having consecutive eagles is, is so rare. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Oh, damn, we got one more round after this. Moving on Shit. to number 16 now, 481 yard par four. Another one that's downhill with the fairway sloping from left to right. Series of bunkers down the left side. Um, it's not the end of the world, actually, if you go on those ones down the left. Every now and again, you'll see someone try and hit a driver and try and take them all out of play. Um, is that you? Holy shit, we smashed that bitch. Smashed Nothing it. to argue about there, right in the fairway. Frank, what's the play here on the 16th? Downhill second shot, perhaps take one club less, and also just uh, let the ball release on this green. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Oh, the wow, field. Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on it. Easy birdie. Birdie try again here today. Go ahead and do that for birdie. Just two holes left here at East Lake Frank. We have another par four set at 455 yards. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Good strike. Good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Well, you can feel the tension right now. Always a pivotal shot in the round. The second to 17. Now to the final hole here at East Lake Golf Club. And Frank, there aren't too many golf courses that finish with a par three. And uh, that's why it's always under a debate whether you should finish on a par three, especially one of this length. Uh, twos are very, very hard to find on this green. And the reason why there's so many slopes and hollows here, the two bunkers, well, remember the great up and down from Jim Furyk from the right bunker? That's more than possible. Um, but this is it. This is what it comes down to. Uh, somehow make a three. Oh, yeah, four iron. Man, that thing is moving. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in okay, position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Now this for birdie came away with par in the oh, previous round. Damn.
just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly going to come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. Placing hecklers at tea boxes. <laughs> Hell no. That was a sick dunk, though. Holy shit. From way out, too. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's the final round of the Peach Invitational. It's taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be a oh, rough, it looks like. Oh, my God. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What, what does in the player the fuck need to be that? careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Fuck me. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. No, no getting away with no par there. Oh my God, look at that thing. Fuck Not too you. Bad. About 25 feet away. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the Holy read. Holy shit. Dropping a shot here late in the round, Frank, with that bogey at the 14th. I feel you, bro. That's why I want to do Not swing that fucking club. Well within his range. Oh, oh my god. Just shaves the edge. Clean this up with a tap. Wow, this fucking back dying. This fucking rah, fuck off. This final round. A couple shots over par. Good thing I got a good lead. 
There are three tall pines on the right side of the fairway that force players to hit a fade to get to the best position in the fairway. With a good drive, players can definitely reach this short par five in two. A well-bunkered green poses problems if missed long or short. One of the easiest holes at East Lake, a par here, will drop a shot to the field. Great line. What a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. This is always a pivotal oh, shot in the like round. Nike Second here at the better. par 5 15th. Frank, what's so compelling about rivalries in sports is that athletes need each other if they're going to go to great heights. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to solidify his legend. Jack Nicklaus probably needed Arnold Palmer to go to a place what? that he had not been. What? And I think that's true for what? the world if you look at rivalries in sports. I think it defines careers, which uh, it's not until those players retire that they realized how important it was to have that, that foe. You know, so often we're, we're living in the present, in the present, like we are now with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. And it's not for years to come that we'll realize the sport wouldn't have been the it's same with one there. without the other. But this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Roll, bitch. Roll, 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 roll. Has it come down yet? Not only is it straight, it's mega long. Looking for a pure strike here on the approach shot at 16. 58 degree sandwich, yeah. Get in there. Like it's gonna find the target. Get it. Get it. That is a tremendous Get it. right there. Touch, nerve, had it all. And he has the point. <laughs> Frank, the par Fuck 4 17 bogey, I got. 455 yards dick. has become really one of the most famous holes on the PGA Tour. By virtue of that great up and down by Bill Haas when the uh, level of the lake had been reduced just to the level where he could actually play that uh, vital third shot. The hole is a slight dog leg left par four. Uh, fairly flat. Those three bunkers down the right are absolutely perfect if you're going to just bail out to the right. You'll certainly learn how to play fairway bunker shots. If you can find the fairway, this green raise slightly and you'll see oh, that no. gaping front bunker that protects the front. I've been aiming for the hole all night. And just now starting to drop. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Not in Atlanta, no. I had 11 and 13 Three mile an hour winds in the today. last had tournament. Nice birdie on this hole yesterday. No wind today, buddy. Like Ben Crenshaw right there, just so smooth. Never played before. On to the finishing hole here at East Lake Golf Club. Not many courses. You go to St. Andrews and you got three. some wind for it's sure. It's always a fun finishing hole. I 
Dang, that mug is swinging. This is looking really good. Man, that bitch landed right where. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. Within 10 feet. This one oh, just sure. requires a little bit of focus. He took plenty of time on this birdie ridiculous. putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well. But obviously, we see it more on putting. And he makes it for par. That has to feel so good. A big championship victory. I mean... 30 I'm gonna do one more see what we get see what the next term it is Give me that FedEx coat. I'll take it. I like the deep ball. Whoa, shit. What the hell is all these? Balance plus. Plus don't look bad though. Shit. Let's try it. Is that what we got? Yeah, okay. Oh, the US Open. How about that? Watch, I go off my my deep ball attributes and I'm gonna get fucked up, watch. Oakmont PA, let's see what the wind is in PA. Three to five. I can take that. Oakmont PA, let's see what the wind is in Uh oh, I need to roll down. EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present 
a national championship. It's opening round coverage of the United States Open Championship. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in on our featured golfer here at the first. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And of course, you never that know what's going to happen. That forever. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, given another 20, 30 yards. It Frank, was a headwind. Really had to help this position it. to make Bitch. a birdie. Yeah, really, Hater. the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good swing, good shot yet again. Good chance now for a birdie. That Damn. was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just oh trying to take God. care of business. What the fuck Tom was Brady that? He has this attempt for par. Wow. Okay. Well, that was interesting. It's a solid par right there, Frank. I think I hit a rock. Yeah, he'll be uh, <laughs> moving to third place, inching his way to the top of the leaderboard. I think I hit a rock. You well know on the, the green. U.S. Open is a thinking and man's game, and this is a good example now. here, this short par four second hole. It certainly is, Rich. It's not about length. It's not even about accuracy it's about trying to pick the right shot and the right shot is somehow finding that fairway between the left as it creeps in and the six bunkers on the right get there get there well they claim it's a reachable par four we haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today we just saw it right there well done even par currently. Good Lord. Now listen, any time I left it short, I didn't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody you left it short. One more birdie, and now tied for the lead. Third hole's a par four. Again, it's 428 yards, but Frank, we look out to the left and we can see there's nothing quite like the third at Oakmont. Well, the church pews certainly might look bit beautiful from our point of view, but they really shrink the hole down or the landing area because not only the pews on the left side, but uh, a bunch of bunkers on the right. You can see the tee shot plays a little downhill, but it funnels in so closely. Oh, where's it going? That, uh, oh, my more God. Often not, we'll see players hit long irons off the tee here. Holy Frank, he is one of the shit. longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Damn, commentators are just ruthless. <laughs> Some bitches is ruthless. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Oh, my God. A nice shot. No spin on that. Well, that's what the great ones do. From the rough, they use oh. their strength. Why? Get out and get it close. Jesus.
<laughs> now at two under par for the tournament. Now to the par five fourth. It is 609 yards. Frank, this has been pivotal in past what? U.S. Opens. Yeah, it certainly has. The a good drive here. There's a chance to go for the par five and two. A bad drive here, finding the church pews or the bunkers on the right. More often than not, you're pitching out sideways. Totally different proposition. Damn, that bitch is launched. Wow, smoke that tee shot. Second shot. Four iron. Five. What can we get with a five? I can't see. This could be a good one. Hell no, it ain't a good one. Fuck, that bitch is long as well, shit. Well, he's on the green, but still plenty of work left. About a 25-footer coming up. This 25. would be a bonus from 25 feet away. Holy shit. He's a dick. Wow. least he's seen the line as it went past the hole so just replicate that on the way back frank this would be a nice way to jump start the round yeah his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this that was so close nice solid start to the round tita green looks to be in command yeah it's surprising i thought he might have been a little shaky out of the gate but uh, certainly proved me wrong well, the good short par four has become standard at most modern U.S. Opens. Here's an example, Frank, 382-yard fifth. Yeah, this is where you have to play the percentages. If you're going to play a hole four times, if I put myself in the fairway four times with a long arc, will I play the hole under par? That's the strategy here. God damn! Well, he pays the price for that. Woo! Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there. to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance Man. of finding the green. That was some shot. Oh, look at this green. God. Eat a dick. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus. Well, we know better point. than when we go back to that hole again, not to do that. Nice par to remain three under.
So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from Tita Green. It's not easy to come out of the gates like that. <laughs> Waiting for pizza. <laughs> That's hilarious. Tent, look, the wind done picked up the eight to twelve mile an hour now. What the fuck? Oh, we're playing in a Sports tornado now? And the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live second round coverage of the U.S. Open there Championship. There you go, Katie. There's your win. Hello again and welcome. Well, Rich Loader alongside my Look friend and colleague Frank Navala. We are sake. back in the state of Pennsylvania getting set to kick off the round here at one of the great golf courses in the world, Oakmont Country Club. Frank, you're very familiar with it because you were right in the mix down the stretch at the 1994 U.S. Open right here at Oakmont. And Rich, it's so good just to be back here. You know, there's so much history uh, in Oakmont. It's been a host to so many prestigious tournaments. Go! And now sports Row! such as the US, Open, the US Open, the Women's US Open, and the PGA Championship. It's just Nasty. one of the true gems on the golf landscape. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Frank, what are we looking at here with the second shot at the par 4 10th? Uh, once again, if you could hit something high and soft, maybe with a little bit of a cut, just to land softly on this putting surface. Everything slopes away from the front Jesus, line. Jesus, 10 mile an hour. Holy shit. So, two, four, six, three. Maybe there? Down, little Sheba. Down! Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Wow, look at that sum of his turn. Holy Very well shit. done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. And getting ready for the putt. Forty. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? Wow, man. I mean, that one was dead center. Wow. Just a couple of feet. Wow. Oh, wow. What? Man, I just pushed it. I mean, that hurts. Um, what the fuck is going on here? Wow, no, I thought that seriously. was in. Just a tap in to finish the hole. That hole certainly got the best of him. Triple bogey. Wow. Par 4 11th is 379 yards as we continue. Backside here at the U.S. Open at Oakmont. Frank, what's the strategy off the tee here? You're hitting something that goes about 240, 250 yards maximum, um, hopefully keeping it out of that right rough. And the reason why that right rough is certainly to be avoided is that big gaping bunker at the front of this green. Green's perched where up a little bit, so is this is another one where if you can hit an iron or a utility club off the tee, you must find the fairway.
Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. Frank, 379 yard hole, you're thinking, I need to make three or I need to stuff a short iron in there, but, but you think there's a price to pay if you get too aggressive here. There is, especially in a U.S. Open. Uh, once the greens are firm and this fast, uh, the, the penalty for missing your spot um, becomes that much more severe. Uh, it's very evident here at 11. There's just enough undulation, enough slope from back to front that uh, means you, you've got to be on the number. On oh, the my God. Shot. Look at... Oh, I'm about to go to the fucking bed. Fuck this. Look at this shit. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is... Difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. <laughs> wow. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Frank, let's hope he doesn't make double bogey now. That's the saddest coming That's out in your reach. Well, not going to make par here. He needs this to only give up one. This is fucking great. He's made it. I might lose this motherfucker. It'd be my first loss since I started playing this game. Fuck. Well, Frank, the par 5 12th here at Oakmont, it's a lot of golf hole at 667 yards. It's the hardest par 5 I've ever seen or played that doesn't have water. Uh, it starts with that tee shot. The whole fairway slopes left to right. Just to get the ball on the fairway, uh, you've got to draw the ball against the slope. The same problem exists with the second and the third shot. Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. Frank, how about this approach shot here at the 12th? The layup itself to be considered, you've got those, those two sections of cross bunkers that you have to avoid. Plus, remember that the slope of this fairway is left to right. And if you leave the ball up in the rough, that makes that shot even tougher. So make sure it lands on the left side of the fairway and somehow stays on the width of that. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Man, this motherfucking greens are hard Pretty as short, concrete. Holy shit. Locked in on the reed. Jesus the speed. fucking Christ. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's going to drop. Close. I can't. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Keep the round going. Those par putts. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Our featured golfer one. has made it to the 13th hole. Let's pick up the action right there. Frank, there's so much focus on winning and losing on Sunday afternoon. Friday afternoons, though, is kind of like a tournament within a tournament. Exactly. If you move your eyes down that leaderboard to exactly what the cut line is, and you watch those people play golf, that's the players you want to see with their back against the wall, trying to play golf when you don't have your A game.
That is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a formality. Yeah, now. right. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Frank, that birdie will help the cause. Well, the reason Oakmont has hosted so many U.S. Opens, Frank, as you well know, is it has a really good blend of holes. And now we come to a, a short par for it, 358 yards, the 14th. You can see uh, the predicament in front of you, bunkers left and right. But uh, really the bonus here is if you can get the ball on the fairway with just uh, something like a long on off the tee, this is one of your best scoring opportunities at Oakmont. This time, that one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Frank, when I think about the U.S. Open, I think about Justin Rose at Marion in 2013. He hit a nearly perfect drive right down the middle, right next to that famous Hogan plaque, Hogan winning there in 1950. And then he hits that second shot, the floor, and, and it appears to be perfect. But U.S. Opens aren't always fair, are they? And then from that point, he took what appeared to be a bad break, and he still went forward for the win. I think it's a great example, Rich, uh, that you just brought up. I mean, there's an example of two of the best shots hit in the U.S. Open pressure, and yet they're not rewarded with a birdie putt. And I think that's what defines the, the, the toughest championship that there is in golf. Well, this is a good U.S. Open par for it. 499 yards. The 15th is one of the better holes in the course, Frank. It is. The, the shape of the tee shot you think would suit a cut, but because the fairway slopes uh, quite severely to the right, really it needs a draw just to work its way against that slope and somehow keep it on the straight and narrow. God! Oh my God! Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot coming out of the rough here. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Slow down, eat green. So that is Holy a top shit. ten performance through two rounds, Frank. It's always nice to know that you have a shot with two rounds left in the tournament. Well, fall back to even at least.
EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live third round coverage of the U.S. Open Championship. Oh God, this fucking hole. Good contact, good result. And that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300 yard mark. Second shot on the fifth here at Oakmont. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Right in the heart. Frank, you played the U.S. Open and nearly won it back in 1994 at Oakmont. So you remember this par 3-6, the 194 yards. It's changed a bit since then. How? It has. They've actually made the green a little bit bigger. And how they managed to do that, they took away a bunker that used to be behind the green a little on the left side. Um, it's not really made the hole any easier, but it still suits a, a, like a little bit of a cut. And there's something that starts on those left bunkers and works its way back towards the middle of the green. The reason why that's a better shot it's because the slope of the green goes in the opposite direction. Come on, so it's man. one way to keep the ball straighter. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Birdie. Oh, God bless you. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Frank, how does that par help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. U.S. Open continuing here at the par 4, 7th at Oakmont. It's 434 yards. Well, not since Fred Funk have we seen someone this accurate off the tee. Just a sensational display. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Handled for the fat part of the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Whew. Just a couple of feet. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Ian, the greenside bunker here, Frank. Nice to go to the beach, but not too often, we hope. I 
I can't stop it. Oh my god. You know, it's a big grain. Just managed to get it back there. Way in the, the middle of it. God really damn, not much this to this. Shit. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. How did that not go in? Come what? on, you have to make that, don't you? Drop shot here at the eighth. Well, you can't afford to give away strokes coming down the stretch. God dang, man. And now to the ninth, and in case a player has forgotten somehow that he's at a U.S. Open, the ninth will remind him very quickly that uh, this is the national championship. This is demanding. Oh, and I now, just this shanked is not that. heading in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. I'm getting ready. I'm going back to my oh, Nike out, driver. Frank. Where's this one headed? Fuck this driver. I don't oh, like it. This is definitely rough, Rich, off the tee. Rich, with a low like that on the rough, you're going to get too much grass between club face and ball. You're going to have to adjust for that and at least take a club or two more. For you. It was terrible. I give up. <laughs> I give up. Fuck it. In for par. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly yeah, have looked the best players lose. this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller. But before we go to that round, we're finna go get my damn Nike driver back. Taylor May too though. KD, you still here? What you want to use? Nine, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. Seriously, ten and a half. All right. I'm really going to play a good round here if I want to win. That's for sure. EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live final round coverage of the U.S. Open Championship.
Lord. Good tee shot right in the short grass. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That is a beauty, a real beauty. See if he can go Shift, one better yeah. than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. God oh damn. Oh, my gosh, that hurts. Oh, my oh fucking man. God, man. I just pushed it. Well, that hurts. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just hammered that par putt, Frank. Well, I don't know what he was thinking or what was going through his mind what right there. What the fuck but, happened? Uh, he better wake up in a hurry, because if this one doesn't go in, the score's going to rack up very quickly. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm barely here, too. I'm barely going to bogey, bed. But still wow. in the lead. We, we start Fucking to see wow, shots in hand man. really this valuable. Fucking I hate this course. I don't ever want to come back here ever again, gang. Got that. Backside here at the U.S. Open at Oakmont. Frank, what's the strategy off the tee here? You're hitting something that goes about 240, 250 yards maximum, um, hopefully keeping it out of that right rough. And the reason why that right rough is certainly to be avoided is that big gaping bunker at the front of this green. Green's perched up a little bit, so this is another one where if you can hit an iron or a utility club off the tee, you must find the fairway. Beautiful looking shot right here. So Frank, a perfect lie right here. And now this gives him a chance to take the next step, which is get after this whole location. Yeah, so many more options now. And basically, it's just going to come down to club selection now. This is absolutely perfect. This is one where he can get a reward from. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Look at this. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Scramble here. He's giving himself what a chance. What the fuck, man? Hard. Shouldn't be a problem here. This is fucking Those are stupid. Painful from that distance. Yeah, just another one added I to the card. I never had this much problem in this fucking game he let ever. Him feet away. He got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Frank, that is absolutely demoralizing. A big number, a double bogey at this stage of the tournament. That was just a beautiful drive and hit it solid and right in the middle. Frank, how about this approach shot here at the 12th? 
the layup itself to be considered, you've got those, those two sections of cross bunkers that you have to avoid. Plus, remember that the slope of this fairway is left to right. And if you leave the ball up in the rough, that makes that shot even tougher. So make sure it lands on the left side of the fairway and somehow stays on the width of that. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Frank, that's the biggest roar I've heard all week long. That was an eagle roar. Uh, for good reason, not just an eagle, too. All of a sudden, back in contention. Pushing our way into this back nine, we arrive at the par 3 13th. That's 183 yards. Green's right, the left slope. Not terrible. And but nah, not don't his roll best. it all. What the? F yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace, might have a chance. That was not a very good read right there. Another good part. Well, the reason Oakmont has hosted so many U.S. Opens, Frank, as you well know, is it has a really good blend of holes. And now we come to a, a short par for it, 358 yards, the 14th. You can see uh, the predicament in front of you. Bunkers left and right. But uh, really the bonus here is if you can get the ball on the fairway with just uh, something like a long on off the tee, this is one of your best scoring opportunities at Oakmont. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Oh, my God. Midway through this back nine. Could use this birdie here at the 14th. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Oh my. <laughs> to really hurt Frank because it looked good all the way. <gasps> this will test his middle. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that except to make it. He'll take par and move on. Well, this is a good U.S. Open par for it. 499 yards. The 15th is one of the better holes in the course, Frank. It is. The, the shape of the tee shot you think would suit a cut, but because the fairway slopes uh, quite severely to the right, really it needs a draw just to work its way against that slope and somehow keep it on the straight and narrow.
Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank deep into a final round at a U.S. Open at Oakmont. This approach shot at 15. This is where you really need to be focused. You do. The front third of the screen slopes back towards the front right of the green. Then everything in the middle starts to kick towards the right and then the back. So it's a case, like so many other greens here, of using the slopes in your favor. So pick the right club, try and adjust, and uh, well, in the back of your mind, allow for the amount of roll that the ball's going to take when it hits the green. Frank, that is painful. God oh, damn! The... You'd rather miss the hole at times, wouldn't you? What is fucking insane? He takes care of business there. Solid strike. Frank, this is a point in the round where you really I'm need to summon your best over. stuff. This is Par ridiculous. three of 231 yards. You know the pressure's building. We're at the 16th hole. And you have a long iron in hand. You can't flinch. You can't take it halfway back and go. This has to be the complete swing, and you have to really have the nerve on this shot. Yeah, this shot has to be hitting right, in the, right out of the button, that's for sure. Um, one thing to consider, though, in the back of your mind, it's always better putting back uphill. Well, uphill is actually from the back of this green. So you actually can be a little braver on 16 than what you might think standing on that tee, because a little long is better than a little short. Don't stop, please. Come on. Your strike. Good result. My head is close. Let him set now over the putt. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. Uh, you're not going to birdie every hole. Yeah, we ain't birdied no fucking holes. That's good work. That's good par right there. Coming down to the wire here at the U.S. Open Championship at fabled Oakmont, and the tension starting to build. And Frank, this is decision time at this very short 313-yard par four. And yeah, normally in a U.S. Open, uh, Rich, you'd think the prudent play would be lay it up, but you know I kind of like driver here today. I think the worst you're going to do is just miss the green or hit it one of those pop bunkers. Um, you, you perhaps could drive it on the green, be putting for eagle, but even out of one of those bunkers, <laughs> Thanks, you've got Nick. to think you're um, even money to get it up and down. I like driver here. Where in the hell... I don't even see my fucking ball guide. Rich, it's a different challenge today. The weather is uh, is so day-to-day -day out here, and, and um, when you get a breeze like this there that's kicking up, is. you really have to sort of change your uh, approach to playing these holes. It looks nice out there, the blue skies, plenty of high sunshine, but it's a challenge because those winds have really freshened up. par four not for most in this field but for this guy yes he has just knocked it on what a shot
Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. He has a birdie opportunity here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I got a fucking birdie! He's made it. I'm still leading with one over. Frank, you know this as well what as anyone, hell? having competed in and contended in U.S. Open championships. An 18th hole at a U.S. Open is supposed to be tough. A par is supposed to be hard won. Oh, I shanked it! This has it. all the elements of a great finishing hole, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know if you could use the word fair, but you would oh say God. it's a just finishing hole. It's right, because it extracts oh the best you ever God. want to see out of a champion. Someone that can basically stand on that tee, gather their thoughts together, thump something down the fairway, then come up with a second shot that's nearly as challenging as the, as the tee shot, and then somehow two-putt. You do all that with the lead, you deserve to pick up the U.S. Open trophy. Frank, Johnny Miller's final round 63 in the 1973 U.S. Open here at Oakmont is one of the greatest of all time. Now, granted, the golf course was a little soft because of some rains, but still 63, final round of the U.S. Open. You need to be on your game, and Miller certainly was. You can imagine players shooting 63 at various golf courses, even if it were wet or soft. But at Oakmont, we, we thought it was the unthinkable. And, and one of the reasons why it was such a great round it wasn't just the score. Uh, you've seen the golf course. To hit every single green in regulation, all 18, to be putting for birdie 18 times in a row at Oakmont, it deserves a worthy score. So 63, um, it's, in, it's in the history books for more than one reason. Not just the score, but the style and the manner in which it was, uh, it was done. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. It has come down to this. To win the U.S. Open. I win it with one over. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe it. Did the job right there. Thanks, Frank, he's done it. One of the biggest prizes in the game. The U.S. Open has always been considered golf's toughest test. There's golf's toughest champion. Ridiculous. That was like the hardest fucking tournament I played yet on here, I believe. Holy shit. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Four to six miles an hour. Whew. Are these greens going to be like concrete too? Shit.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Whoa. Okay, what's going on? Well, we got a tree or something? Oh, we do. Frank, in the changing weather conditions, players have so many different options, don't they? Some might like to play it high. Others might want to play it a little lower along the ground. You really got to be on your toes today because of that, Rich. And really, that's what separates the men from the boys, so to speak. Um, you know that any mistake you make can obviously be magnified by, by the wind conditions. But conversely, it's a real good chance for skill to shine. That is a fantastic long shot. There's no way he could hit that without a tail breeze. Surely that breeze had to help there. the flag stick from that man see if you can get this one to drop big birdie putt well, that was a good looking putt oh just not God. falling right now no, sadly he's going to be disappointed locked in on the read and the speed Frank that's a my ass tonight. onward we go Another par three, we're at the eighth. It is only 165 yards. This could be good. Rich, it's gone. Bam! In the hole. You do not see that every Bam! day. Bam! That, folks, is a hole in one. Wow. We move to the ninth hole, and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said, Par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out. Excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But, of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par 5 and 2. Miss. Pay the price. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par 5. His second shot. Good-looking shot right here. That was just a gutsy shot right Whew. there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. Really? This is an awkward length.
Frank, that looked Come. good to me. How does that not go in? Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I don't know. And yet another birdie, this time inching into the top five. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. Good drive right there. Got all of it. Did you hear the sound? Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. He is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Very impressive and on the move right now. Standing over the ball here at the par 5 11th. Par 5? So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Not in the fairway, but not too bad, just in that first cut. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Right oh, shit! Damn, that was rough, close! And right up next to the That hole. would have been an albatross. Fuck. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just a sensation of eagle right there and into second place. Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. New course to most of the golfers on tour. This challenging layout just opened in 2015. Today, we're along the east coast of Maine. Rich Lerner with Frank Nabila will be calling all the action from the cliffs at Lighthouse Point. 
another great design from uh, Brand Patel, and they really threw the boat out here. Some uh, excellent choice of holes, and uh, you see the, the changes in elevation. You get this on a windy day, and of course, 7,700 yards will play even longer than that. A nice calm day, though, Rich, and you really can shoot a good score out here. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. And getting ready for the putt. Well, yeah, birdie, Frank, and another shot closer. Sniffing in the right direction. Now on the tee at the par three second, it's a long one. This will require a pure strike. Frank, the handicap system in golf really is the great equalizer, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sport like it. I can't imagine going to Wimbledon and playing, you know, sort of uh, Djokovic or Federer or, you know, playing NFL with Peyton Manning. But, you know, the, the beauty of golf, we can go out in the golf course, we decide uh, what our handicaps are on the first tee, we decide who's going to get strokes, and then off you go and play, and you play on a level playing field. That drops for another birdie, two in a row to start the round. Frank, I like the mix of holes as we start out here at Lighthouse Point. Tough par four, then a par three, and now a scoring opportunity with a par five at the third. Scoring opportunity with a good drive. Very thin fairway here, Rich. This hole is built for accuracy, and players off the tee, they're going to have to try and hit this fairway. Long fairway bunker runs almost the entire length of this hole, and it could act actually as a little helper, stop you going down by the cliff, because anything left, obviously, on that cliff line will go all the way down to the ocean. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. <laughs> Appears to be tracking well. Frank, that is how it's done. You yeah, take a gross of those. That is a lesson in itself. And now a chance for Eagle. Just a couple of feet. Wow, Frank, I did much not better round that. going. Eagle. Much better. Well, here at the par four, fourth, 411 yards, Frank. This is the kind of hole where you want to pull out the cell phone and maybe take a few pictures because the views are absolutely amazing. And you also see why this golf course is called the Cliffs, that's for sure. Great vistas. Uh, this front nine completely lines the coast, so you're going to need to keep it fairly straight on this golf course. This hole in particular, though, the fairway is actually rather generous, so you do get a little bit of reprieve off the tee, and um, you really want to hit the fairway because that green is very tiny, Rich. a big green and they're going to use every inch of it oh god that will be a great look at birdie mm. settles in over the putt He 
knows it is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. The young star makes his birdie. PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Frank, this game has taken us all over the world to some absolutely beautiful spots, and this is one of the prettiest I've seen in a long time, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point along the yeah, eastern no coast of Maine. It's always uh, fun when we hit up uh, in the northeast area. Golf's been in this area for a long, long time. This golf course hasn't, rather than new design by Brandt and Patel, and uh, it's lengthy, 7,700 yards. You'll get to hit just about every club in the bag, so good test today. Excellent drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good-looking shot. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's full melody now. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Nice. A great start. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par 3, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. What an outstanding oh, shot that was. Oh, my God. The, the right result, too. Uh, it's just a, a cap. <laughs> Birdie try again here today. Oh, good. <laughs> so the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Now the third hole here at Lighthouse Point, par 5, 566 yards. Right, just tattooed that. Setting up in the fairway, 200 yards to where that hole is cut.
this hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Locked in on the read and the speed. Hey, Lit. Thanks, bro. I knew oh, I, I missed thought he that. Had that. I He's going to beat himself it. up on the way to the next tee. You don't miss those putts. He has this putt for birdie. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hit the ball in the right place there. And, uh, yep, good thing, too. He's actually putting well. Frank, as we stand here at the fourth and look out, no mistaking where we're at. I know I'm having some lobster for dinner tonight. Awesome clam chowder. The best comes from this area. Um, well, actually, for the ocean, though, anything that strays a little left off this tee will find that ocean. And believe me, there's been more than one ball hit down there. Generous fairway. That's really the goal in the tiniest of green. If you find the green, you're going to have a birdie putt. A very short one, indeed. Good swing, good shot yet again. Oh, can't Damn. hide the flag stick from that man. Down it, that's a birdie. Now at the fifth hole, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? It's very easy to get lulled into a false sense of security here, Rich. No fairway bunkers, just sort of think you would blaze away. But really, you've got to find the fairway here. Very small green and well protected I shanked by that bunker. Again. Short right of this green. So if you miss the fairway, I shanked this, this the last time. Very difficult Fuck. indeed. Quite oh my quickly. God. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. I have no way out. <laughs> One thing I can do. So from the rough back to Damn. the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, it didn't take the boat. Oh, yeah. And at least now. He's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. All right. We got 58 degree. All right, let's get... I want to get... Safely on. Why? You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration Damn and focus man. at this point. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was all a good right, one. Around. This is yeah, after three one rounds, in, uh, you really could start uh, to see who could take home yeah, the trophy o'clock. when it's Lord all man. said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller. Oh my God, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind.
Oh, Jesus. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, we it's went live from no wind to play in a hurricane of the mid-season classic. The round continues at Lighthouse Point, and Frank, the 15th hole is a par four, only 387 oh, yards. God, look at this. the lot uh, that moved down in the rough just in the first cut of rough not a bad lie the only issue is he might get a jumper here <laughs> on the green <laughs> looking at a birdie opportunity Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Hey, hey, that hey. That finds hey, the hey. bottom of the cup. We'll call that a birdie. Time to make a move. The closing stretch here at number 16, par 3, 241 yards. Can I hit the deer? <laughs> Hey, Sandy. Holy shit, this is 12 miles an hour? Wow. All right, then. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at Birdie. And oh, getting ready Lord. for the putt. Yeah, what do you play, John? When you play 17th hole is another par five over 600 yards you get a terrific view of juniata crossway bridge just ahead and, and frank if you jump over that bridge you can get a dynamite lobster roll at nielsen's lobster shack i don't know if you've ever had it oh but it's it, one of the best it just adds to sort of the charm of this area but what a hole this is s-shaped par five uh, you can see it bending to the right off the tee and then the hole starts to go the other way with magnificent view of the bridge you're just referring to uh, reachable for the longest hitters, but uh, once again, avoid the bunkers, and they're all down the right side. He's loading up on it. Oh, oh no! Wow, we smashed it! Can a ball explode? That is big. I mean, really big. Wow! Wow! Huge. Wow! 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 wow. Moved it a long way. Happiness is a long, 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 long walk after that one. Bro, this camera angle is... Surely not. 
And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. It's that sneaky distance. Get in there. Hard pot, soft hands, beautiful roll. Frank, as we arrive here at 18, I'm thinking about the uh, hey, what you so often hear up here in New England. You can't get there from here. Or, or can you at this par four finishing hole? Oh, shit, I got that picture. The ball just took off the face. What the hell was that? Second shot. Whoa, where's he going? Where's he going? Slight miss, and he'll have to deal with some of the heavy grass. Ball <laughs> sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. To win the mid-season classic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, an that is all the she wrote for tonight. To That's four hours just of a Rory fantastic week of golf. McElroy that one golf to the win count. on the PS4. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I will be streaming some more of it here and there. Um, so... I do enjoy it. It's it's more realistic golf um, with amazing graphics, really. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I will catch y'all tomorrow when we do. I got uh, the main account and the pro to do tomorrow. So, I will see y'all then. Um, y'all have a great day, man, because it's already morning. So, y'all have a great day. I'll let y'all later.